Hey Tea Cakes, so are you guys ready for one of those videos that's no specific theme? It's just kind of me thinking out loud to the camera for like just shy of quarter of an hour because I sure am ready to lose some subscribers. To be honest though, I'm not too fussed if I lose subscribers right now because I recently jumped from 167 to 182 like in the past couple of days and that's... That's a lot. That's that's a hell of a lot for me anyway, because I, I gain subscribers very slowly, and that is all thanks to my meta writing genius and also Rebecca um, TGLC explains for recommending my video to people in the comment section of her video um, and liking it so it shows upon her homepage. So yeah, thanks Rebecca for for doing that. Much much appreciate. I am so glad that you liked my video. Um, my last video and also thank you to everyone who left positive positive comments on my last video I don't know why I'm pointing back there. It's, it's not like I keep it back there I don't have like views of films like they did in the olden days. It's just it's in the past So that's why I point okay, so considering you guys all loved my last video so much um, I'm, I'm doing more like that in the very near future. Oh, not like just because that video like gained me subscribers I'm not like I'm not like a sellout, like I was gonna do more meta stuff anyway, but I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about that now. Do you guys wanna know my plans for videos? Um, of course you don't, you don't care, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Just need to get my notebook out. Um, yeah, so my mom's like on holiday this week, so there's nobody here to tell me that I shouldn't wear shorts and a jumper. So, I'm wearing shorts and a jumper. Anyway, here is my notebook of everything. Literally, probably the only notebook that I own that I write in. I have thousands of notebooks, only ever write in this one. Ow. Uh, I didn't ow because it hurt me. It hurt the spine of my notebook. And, um, you know, it's pretty damaged. The main thing about writing like videos that are kind of meta-based or theory-based or like reading-based is you have to come up with like the thing that you're going to talk about but obviously there's a few things that I've came up with and I'm going to tell you a few just so you kind of know what's coming you know what to expect um I've got some TGLC ones I really want to do one on the private life of Sherlock Holmes just a review of the film to plush because I love it so much and in that I will draw parallels between um to plush and BBC Sherlock because th that's one of my favorite things um, but that's going to take a lot of planning, so wait for that one. Um, over on my side channel, I made a little, like, minute-long video um, comparing this one scene in Princess Bride to this one scene in BBC Sherlock. That video is kind of a joke, but also it's really real and, like, it's there. Um, not all of you guys have seen that, so I'll leave leave a linky down there. Check it out, it's funny. Um, well, I think it is, because I made it. I, I just laugh at my own jokes, to be honest. Like, all the time. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of wanted to make, like, a, a big feature-length video comparing Princess Bride to BBC Sherlock. Again, that would take a lot of planning. But, you know, planning is fun. I like planning videos almost as much as I like making videos. And also I had this idea, I was going to do the My Stroud Conspiracy where I kind of analysed BBC Sherlock and like looked at like all evidence for My Stroud because um, I don't know if it was actually going to be a parody or if I am actually that passionate about My Stroud to um, actually, you know, do that. I, I probably will do it legitimately and try and convince people that it's real. It's a good ship, okay? I don't care, people think it's a crack ship. I like it. I also really wanna do like some Harry Potter queer reading things. Um, you know that theory where like all the Harry Potter books and films are about being gay and like wizard is a metaphor for being gay. Yeah, that's really funny, like I love that. Um, so I might do a video about that. Um, and like all the parallels between like the wizarding world and the gay community. Um, I think that that like wasn't that like theory like made up for parents who didn't want their children to watch Harry Potter because because that just makes it even better. <laughs> I, I love that so much so I, I might make a video about that and also I just want to make like an hour long video talking about why I think Sirius Black is gay because like a wolf star is a thing okay. It, it just is. My arm just clicked. 
That was attractive. <laughs> so yeah, they are just some of my ideas for like meta type things that I'm going to be doing. Obviously, not all of my videos are going to be meta things now, but obviously you guys enjoyed the meta thing. I enjoy the meta thing. So I was thinking about once every other week there will be kind of a theory based argument video a bit like what I did last week. If you guys would like that, I am very happy to give that to you because I honestly have so much fun making videos. I especially enjoyed last week's video and I am just so happy that everyone else enjoyed it. I was super worried that people would just like not understand what I was on about, um, not really like follow me or people would just think that I was like copying Rebecca or like any other person who makes videos about that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I loved it. it, it was fun. So look forward to more videos like last week's video. Thank you. This is actually tea as well, you know, guys gotta say I'm brand. So I am back at school now after the holidays. I, I am in my last year of high school. I'm so glad <laughs> my mum has done this. Um, Cause you experience some weird things going down at school. And um, like in high schools, there's, there's like no law there. Weird things happen. Like the other day I literally saw one person address another person as Google Play. What is Google Play? Like, is this an insult or a pet name? I really want to know. Another funny thing that happened at school recently um, is a teacher told me that I'm going to end up in jail because I am the sort of person who likes to push boundaries. This literally started about a conversation about the fact that my belt was the wrong colour. Gonna go to jail! Goodbye guys! Gonna go be locked up somewhere. This should be fun. I don't know, I've seen Orange is the New Black. I think I could survive. Look at this little Loki thing that I got out of a Kinder Egg. Yeah, I bought a Kinder Egg just because it had Marvel figures in. It's really cute. It's, it's got a little like keychain on it, and like it's really small and like indiscreet. So I could put it um, on my bag as like a little charm, and it would be Loki because it wouldn't be too in your face. And lo Loki, Loki, I'll, I'll let myself out. Another kind of funny thing that happened to me like earlier this week. Why do I always point? <laughs> I just need to sit on my hands, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, another kind of funny thing that happened to me um, is I was in the supermarket with my mom. You know all the best stories start like this. Um, and we're at the checkout, and the guy behind the checkout was apparently hitting on me, but I didn't notice this until like after my mom pointed it out to me later on, because like I am so oblivious to like everything like i think it's because i hate myself and other people so much i really do not realize when people are hitting on me like i just don't understand why anyone would do that anyway that's not the point he was talking to me um and like obviously because i don't talk to people in public because you know I'm, I'm just that sort of rude obnoxious person i don't think that anyone else is worth my conversation time so he was like hi what's your name have you got any pastimes and i was just trying to um just make him go away and shut up and realize the time not worth talking to so when he asked me if i got any pastimes i just looked at him completely like deadpan and just said i like killing people um and you know usually if you're having a conversation with a normal person this this will make them shut up and think this person doesn't really want me to talk to them but but no this guy this one checkout guy he just started discussing how to kill people with me. He was like suggesting poisonous gases and like ways to get rid of corpses. And, and I was like, I accidentally just started a conversation with a serial killer, haven't I? And then he started showing me his scars. He was like, if you like killing people, you must like scars. And he just whipped out this massive big scar on his arm. And then I just ran for it because, you know, I was trying to be funny. This guy has actually killed people. I look kind of sophisticated from like up here with like my glasses and my armor jumper and my mugger tea but then you remember underneath this I'm wearing shorts so not really. I am sophisticated though, um, earlier, I can't remember how long it was, I don't think it was that long ago but it seems like ages ago, um, I went to the theatre and I watched the importance of being earnest with uh, my family. It was so good. I love Oscar Wilde, like he's my husband. And it's like kind of funny when I'm reading the play and like I laugh at the play so I know that I'm going to like laugh 
when I'm watching it at the theatre and I hate my laugh it's like really loud and obnoxious and like once I start laughing I cannot stop so like I hate watching comedies around other people but luckily I wasn't the worst person there because like down near the front like around like in that sort of direction to me about like um, five or six ways in front there was this man who just laughed really loudly like not even at the jokes just at random times during the dialogue and, and he was my hero because he took all the attention away from my obnoxious laugh. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Um, I don't think I've told you literally everything interesting I have to say. Um, just, yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys. I, I would do the hand heart, but I've got a mug. Um, thank you guys. Love you. I, I said thanks and love you ten times. And goodbye That's what I meant to say. Do the thumbs up in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already um, and check out all my links in the description the, the link to my princess bride video the like one minute long thing on my side channel that I was actually kind of pleased I found out a parallel um, is down there if you if you want to check it out um, I love you guys again again thank you bye